The American West is big. You'd think there was plenty of room here, wouldn't you, for all who needed room? That's what man thought in this city of open fields where land was easy to buy and inexpensive. But you're looking at a city as it looked only a few short years ago. The name of the city? Look at it today. Los Angeles. Families came to Los Angeles for the south to settle, to bear and raise families, seeking room, space in which to live. And each year, a fresh population the size of that of Salt Lake City settles in the Los Angeles Basin and gives the land still greater value. More people come, and up and up goes the value of land. For Los Angeles, the future is here. The future is now. But people began finding conditions too crowded and seeking relaxation, pleasure, places in which to play. They pushed through the dense centers and out across the land and grows with people and construction into a swift future. Lots went begging here a few years ago at $100 each. Today, planning for the future, and they spread out to Balboa, to Lido Isle. And still more room is needed. Now the people spread out into the God-given healthy desert. They find a place they like, still barren, still undeveloped, and once more a city is born, a city they call Palm Springs. wasn't the end of man's investment in the future. Palm Springs expanded, grew, and man moved south. The surge into the desert carried him into Cathedral City, Palm Desert, and on into one of the most fertile valleys in the United States, Coachella Valley, where 90% of America's dates are grown. Indio, home of the National Date Festival, land of motels, haciendas. A land of beauty. This is the queen of the date festival and her ladies-in-waiting with a special greeting for her subjects. The productivity of this land is unbelievable. Seven cuttings of alfalfa a year are not unusual. Coachella Valley's agricultural values are the highest in the world. They poured water into this desert of ours. Water in abundance. Yes, this too was once the desert. But today, the majestic snow-capped mountains look down upon the greatest of man's miracles, the bringing of life into the barrenness. The table grapes, Coachella Valley grapefruit, the finest in the world. Still another investment in the future, the All-American Canal, bringing water, irrigation, life into the valley. And here, another touch of nature's magic. Here in the desert, a sea called Salton Sea, landlocked, Rich in beauty and allure, 35 miles long, 10 to 16 miles wide, its maximum depth, 40 feet. The Salton Sea, Portsman's Paradise, the new recreational capital of the world, attracting tremendous numbers of water skiers and boaters, and just plain people all the year round. Here is the greatest combination of all, sea, desert, and mountains. And setting it all off like a jewel in the desert, Salton Sea. Salton Sea has no tide, no dangerous current, and it's the fastest body of water in the world. 80% of the world's speedboat records were made here, with people coming from all over the world to race their boats in the Salton Sea.
all its faces. This is only a part of the story of Salton City. Salton City is also a story of the greatest of all investments in the future. No undertow, no perilous sea life, with wading area as far as a quarter of a mile out. Children play in safety, play as only children can play. And here's another investment in the future. Here is health. Water means fun, and salt and sea water is ideal for the amateur skier, superb for the skillful. And when you ski on the fastest water on earth, it's a thrill for even a ski champion. They come from everywhere to test the magic of salt and sea, to get their crafts in trim for trials of endurance and speed. The reason? The low altitude and accompanying density make salt and sea one of the fastest bodies of water on Earth, with world's records broken every year. And with boating, one of the major pastimes of America, what more ideal place for it than here, where the combination of sea, mountain, and desert, plus the constant sunshine, makes this lush area a playland the year round. How did Salton City begin? Man saw, and he liked what he saw, so he dreamed and planned, and then decided once again to invest in the future. He brought his skills and machinery into the desert, came in by air, so things could be done that much faster. Man surveyed, laid out the streets and the lots of the future, with them. many worked to fulfill the dream. Then came the heavy equipment, and man dug into the earth, forced it to obey his will by fighting power war. He brought in water and drenched the leveled roads to give them solidity before paving. He laid out asbestos pipe, like everything else that goes into the building of our city, the finest of equipment, the best of materials. Power rates here are 10 to 25 percent lower than in metropolitan Los Angeles. But what is a city without homes? So homes go up. Homes built to architectural standards guaranteeing no unsightly structures. Homes, families, the big investment in the future. And swimming pools, of course, because this is California. But we weren't satisfied that this was enough for our city. We had to build a marina, a marina with every facility for boat owners and their families, with the accent on comfort and pleasure. Work began on one of the outstanding hotel marina projects of California's own Mediterranean. This is the plan for tomorrow, with every possible facility for recreation and for pleasure. This is the plan for tomorrow. A city means people, and people demand the things they like. They play golf, so a golf course is in the making, designed by Billy Bell, America's leading golf course architect. People play tennis, hence tennis courts. Other recreational facilities will be available for every need, every fancy, and every pleasure. Yes, this is the future right now. And here's the Salton Sea Special, flying people into our city in giant planes. People who have already placed their stake in the future with the birth of this city by the desert sea. And still the work goes on. For ours is a city, a metropolis of the future. New lines are brought in to service the community, bringing water to new homes, new homes to contribute their part to the birth of a city. More people, more homes, more homes, more values, growing, always growing out of the desert. Thank you.
cold deep and set the poles for electric power and for telephones because the city needs all of this too. Water for every purpose, for your protection. On goes the work. Roads are graded, packed down with solid gravel base, and surfaced with the highest quality in paving mixture, hot asphalt. Sultan City has its own asphalt plant. Paving meets the most rigid of county specifications, surfaced like our modern freeway. Here's the way to truly appreciate quality and smoothness. Take a And still the work goes on. Now you're about to see a miracle as it takes place before your eyes. Here, where the mountains, sea, and desert combine to form a magic wonderland, is the first man-made marina on the Sultan Sea. Everything has been put into this great project for the enjoyment of the property owners, planning, imagination, machinery, money. takes her hand. Yes, it's Linda Darnell, famous and glamorous movie star, contributing her part in the birth of a city. She breaks a champagne bottle against the giant that digs into the earth and gives it meaning, design, and purpose. On one side of this spread of earth, the salt and sea. On the other, the great excavation marking the bed of our first marina. Now watch. The last scoopful dividing the two is lifted and the two areas are joined. Good work, Linda. Here, the miracle of man. This is the future, coming to life before your eyes. Here is the great marina, designed and constructed to give enjoyment to thousands for generations to come. Built by man for the enjoyment of man. This is the future today. Here is home base for watercraft. Chinese junk. Speedboats and fishing craft. Yes, just plain boats. All find harbor in this great marina. And there's enjoyment for everyone in this wonderland of nature and man. Linda Darnell here celebrates a reunion with some of the movie colony who are now part of Salt and Sea. There's a lot of natural beauty here. Desert, sea, mountains, sunshine, and Miss Salton City. This too is the future. Steam wells, tremendous power shooting up from almost a mile below the Earth's surface. Here is unlimited power for industry, already tested and proven. A gigantic potential industry, all within 30 miles of Salton City.
This is what this power does to a paper plate, shooting it upwards at a speed of a thousand feet per second. And still the work goes on as a city is born. Ground is broken for a new 60-unit motel. Today is catching up with the future rapidly, and many hundreds of vacationers will enjoy the first Salton City Motel. labor and mind of man, out of the barren desert, out of the many months of endeavor and daring imagination, a city is born, and business sees a future in Salton City and becomes part of the great scheme of things. A major oil company becomes a part, a modern restaurant. scale, fun and playtime go on. Famed TV personality Bill Bird conducts a treasure hunt in the sands of the desert. Yes, the treasure hunt complete with methods the old-time prospectors would have given their eye teeth to have. Here, amid the awesome beauty of the great panoramic sweep of mountain, sea, and desert, like no other place on earth, people find the greatest treasure of all, their stake in the future. And other treasures as well. And coming to our city are many hundreds of people to enjoy a typical weekend carnival of fun, food, and entertainment. Luau, festival, celebration. Here is pleasure. Here is the enjoyment of the good things of life. All along all parts of this great live and play area. To honor the first anniversary of Salton City, 3,000 people join in the feast. In the boat shop, the restaurant, food to please Bacchus himself. Prepared to the king's taste, and he bids the people welcome to the great city of which he's a part. His plans? A million dollar motel with nightclub and restaurant overlooking the great Salton Sea nestled beneath the star-studded desert sky. On into the night goes the great luau, bringing more magic and enchantment with Hawaiian fire dancers casting fanciful patterns. And fireworks to light up the desert sky, announcing to the world that a city is born, a city that is a dream come true, a city that will bring health and happiness and security to its people. Remember Palm Springs, Las Vegas, Los Angeles? Salton City, too, must grow and spread out. And as it grows, every foot of land increases in value, for this is the pattern of things. So on goes the work, and more heavy equipment is brought in. A great hotel must be built, and tomorrow draws even closer and brighter. Hundreds of thousands of dollars' worth of machinery work every day to contribute to the rapidly increasing value of Salton City. Always quality. Always the best, always growing, building, expanding into the future. What does man seek? Whatever it is, it's here at Salton City. Here is all that you and your family, your children and your children's children will want. In sports, in relaxation, in pleasure, in health, in security. Yes, an investment in a growing, prosperous future. This is the birth of a city, an investment in the future. The future is now. And you, you have been present at the birth of a city.